Meantime, the Indiana Supreme Court now set to decide the future of abortion access across the state of Indiana. The court heard about an hour of oral arguments this morning. Our Sierra Putman was in the chamber. And Sierra, at this hour, we're now waiting on the justice's decision. That's right, Anne Marie. The state wants the court to decide right now if this law is constitutional and be done with the legal battle. But the justices indicated they will probably only decide on what happens with the law right now during a short time while this goes through the courts. Five justices, one woman, and four men are tasked with deciding if a new Indiana law limiting abortions is too restrictive. Liberty has meaning. Ken Falk with the ACLU of Indiana argues the state constitution protects a woman's right to an abortion. He says that liberty equals body autonomy, and he wants the law permanently blocked. The legislature uh, has decided to enact laws uh, for an ethical purpose to respect that life. The state solicitor general, Tom Fisher, ultimately thinks the law should take effect. He wants the high court to make a final decision that the new abortion law is constitutional. That would end this legal challenge to the law that bans all elective abortions. Chief Justice Loretta Rush pushed back on the state's request to end things quickly. She and the other justices asked tough questions of both attorneys for about an hour. You're asking for a qualified right. Who qualifies that right? The court signaled it would decide if it wanted to let an order blocking all or some of the new abortion laws stay in effect while the lawsuit moves through the courts. The justices said they believe the ultimate decision about such a polarizing law deserves time, care, and consideration.